again, every time you post something on Facebook or YouTube, you're in my clothes. Okay, ready? <laughs> I'm not doing that. Alright, hey guys, Stephanie here, aka Mom the Builder. So we're at my sister's house. Everybody say hi. So we're at my sister's house. We're taking down a horse hair plaster wall. This used to be her living room. We're gonna make it kitchen. And um, we're gonna be taking off, or we're gonna be taking down the horse hair. So normally when you take down horse hair, you should wear a mask. It gets very dusty. But um so let me get my mask ready. Oh, there's like 17 of them in here. Yeah. All right. They only come in a box of 10 now. Yeah. For the Rona. All right. Hold on. All right. So. Who that? Uh -huh. I feel like I should say. And it's worth it to say now that everybody's obsessed with masks that it has to be a dust reducing mask. It can't be like a regular medical mask, whatever you wear to CVS. Right. You want something that has a seal around your face because the dust is These very... These are KN95 high. masks. Yeah. So, to take down the wall, you're literally just going to like start... It's usually already cracked somewhere and then you're just going to kind of go down. It's nice to get it, if you can go down in one piece and then kind of pull from there because it will sometimes come off in a full sheet and you can just throw it in a bag. Or you can be super messy about it and just like Hulk style smash, 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 smash. But you don't really always want to do that because it makes a mess. Now when you rip the horse hair off, you're gonna see you're gonna see slats behind it. And slats are these wooden pieces right here. These go horizontal across the stove.
I'd like to point out, I got my side done first. <laughs> That's because you got the longer crowbar. Get slow in old age, sister. <laughs> once we take these slats off. Um, now, I'm going to show you guys. So, this is what it looks like. It kind of crumbles on the floor. And you want to get like a snow shovel or some kind of a... My sister was using a... Um, Dustpan Dust that we can't find right now. I'm gonna go get the snow shovel. <laughs> and do make sure when you are filling your barrel, your bag, whatever you're using, if you don't have a dumpster, keep checking the weight of it. Yeah, because when you tend because to, because you do not want to fill a bag with this stuff because it will weigh 200 pounds and you're gonna give yourself a hernia. Right. So it weighs. It does weigh a lot. Um, it's very heavy. So. Like she was just saying, check the bags before you, uh, as you're bringing them out, if you're going to put put it in contractor bags or even in the barrel. Um, even in the barrel, the barrel can get really heavy really fast. So you're going to want to pick up this mess with like a snow shovel and, um, you know, put it into the dumpster or the, the bag or whatever you have the bin. And... Um, you know, it's very dusty, so you might want to, you might want to actually wet it first. So, not, and not soak it. You don't want to, like, go pour water over it, because then you're just going to make a hot mess. But what you want to do is just maybe spray it, um, get, like, a spray bottle, and just spray it down. 
and then sort of um, take it and then uh, scoop it into the bucket with the snow shovel. So, all right, guys, that's going to be my video for now. This is Stephanie, a.k.a. Mom the Builder. And if you liked this video today of how to take down horsehair plaster, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.